yeah, I had myself muted. Uh, yeah, I think he just changed on here. And actually, I know what he did. Does not. Uh, I mean, it's the exact. If I talk like this, then it's the exact same as it always was. I can't, I mean, turn it down. Uh, right, uh, look at the game's just starting. This doesn't, just doing what it, it wants to do. Uh, Shop. See if this works. On my screen, it isn't uh, even full screen, so we'll see what it looks like when I run it. Is that better? Is it? Strange. Maybe if I... It's strange that it's not capturing that anymore. Oh, do I need to turn off the stream or something? The only scaling I can do is apparently 720. Showing up. I think he's doing pretty dumb what I did, but I just. That's what I'm doing. For some reason, it just isn't sh showing any of the stuff I'm doing right now. Dude. See, like this. This is the game broke. I can't play it like this. But if I've alt tabbed, then uh, I can't make it full screen again. <coughs> Nothing. Maybe I press F4. No. Nope. F. Oh. Maybe F. What's one that you sometimes also use? Uh, it's annoying. But 
buttons work. So it'd be good if I could actually preview it myself. But Annoying. Getting ads from one. Oh, that's good. Thank you, Clutch. Wait, can I configure it in DOSBox actually? can't because I can't do anything when I'm in the game. But they don't exist. That, that should be capturing that, but it's not. Why? Oh. Like, that's not capturing that at all, but why? Game capture and it should be shown that. Yeah, that's what should be shown. I bet it doesn't work. So if you put it here, it doesn't do it. That's why I, I mean, I'll try again. That wasn't already there, I had to add it. Yeah. Weird, I never had any problems with the thingy. Dr. Hauser or anything.
Yeah, I mean, that's what capture specific windows might do. You just capture. Do a media source, I suppose, or specific. Same thing. And transform, but you're just, it's just you're just. That's just what my GPU is showing. This is that's what that's shown. So, I mean, I guess you could do media capture, and that might work. A media source. Wonder if that's actual files. Maybe this will work. But I need to alt tab out of it. And then I need to restart a thing and it won't be there. That's. Use a window capture. Like this. That's not even repeating. I mean, this works, I guess. Kinda. That's the question. I don't know how it's going to work because I'm going to have to close the program, then it won't remember. I have no clue what it runs at. Oh god, this is a complete mess. Nineteen ninety two. Oh, I'm, I'm fucking ruining everything. Messing up things in my fucking. because this won't stretch to full screen because of the resolution. Like it won't, the aspect ratio has to be bordered. Why is the music so... No, but bordered as in I don't have borders because I'm just cropping it. It should have black borders. I could do that. But that kind of breaks everything. See, this isn't going to work at all. Oh, why this fucking... That's what I was wondering. I don't have DOS box, so... How does that work?
Yeah, I really don't know what to do here. Oh, brilliant. Timed out on the download. Thank you. Now, now it won't work. Guess we'll install DOSBox and see what happens. So if I change DOSBox settings. It doesn't appear in the Windows. Oh, I fucking hate Windows 10. Uh, let's see if that works. Oh no. Not really. Uh, yeah, I've downloaded DOSBox and obviously it all runs through the terminal so I'm going to have to figure out how the fuck to work this. Uh, maybe there's just a wee, it'd be good if there's a fucking just a patch. Wait, I wonder if I go into the Steam... Uh, Steam library, Steam apps... Common, I loaned that one. DOSBox configuration, that does not exist apparently. Uh, one conf... Room with notepad or some shit. Uh, this game fucking actually working. Full screen true. Right, I found some resolution stuff here. Full resolution original. I could probably put this 1080. It's going to be badly stretched, but. I wonder how I can play it with the right aspect ratio. Guess I'll try 1080. See if it looks like shit or not. I don't know. These fucking old games, man. Right. Whoa, whoa! Broken it. Oh. oh shit, it's stretched. Wonder if that worked. Good if I could actually look at my own stream right now. Uh, yes. to sit through ads for my own channel just to look at it. Yes! Oh wait, no. What's going on there? What is the fuck? What is going on with that, actually? Okay, my stream has crashed on my phone, so I don't know. That's why I play this fucking game! But then if I opt out, I break everything. Okay, 
it's back into Streamlabs. That off, window capture, turn that off as well. Uh, Please work, please, please, please. Can you check my stream? Somebody in the chat, please tell me if this is working full screen. Because I have no clue right now because I have alt tab over the game, so. Yay! Thanks, Bukistan. I'm so happy now. Johnny, does it look good? Does it look fine now? I just went to the any file and like changed the the resolution. Yeah. Great. I'm so happy now that it's working. Yeah. Okay. The Infogrames logo with the 3D armadillo. The only thing I need to now think about is the balance of the audio because this game seems pretty fucking loud. I turned it right down and but in my headphones it's extremely loud. Like uh to get a new game. Also what evil what's his name? This guy. On my door, a dull brass plate says private yeah. detective. The few friends I have call me Carnby. The that audio. Call me the reptile. I don't care to think what my banker calls me. Tobit audio. These days, I leave my letters unopened. Bill. I can't change it now. Send in the receipt. Okay, I can. I can just restart it. It's fine. But wait, no, I can just alt tab out and change it if it's too quiet. I just re I just have to restart the game, obviously. No, is it actually audible? Like the audio. Like, can you hear it over me speaking? Okay, I need to change it then. See if I could just full screen, that'd be so cool. Pakistan saying. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, it's down really low just because it's such a loud fucking game. Uh, I'll turn up a little bit more. Turn up thirteen. It's annoying having to restart the game every time. Hopefully that's it there. Great. Tell me this time if it's there. On my door, a dull brass plate says private detective. The few friends I have call me Carnby. The others call me this is Laxitus, by the, the way. Reptile. I don't care to think what my Yes, that's why it's called Laxitus stream. So this entire time days, the game, I'm I leave my letters on gigantic open. shit. Bills and threats to send in the receivers just So it's good to play like a horror game. My day. When an antique dealer called Gloria Allen contacted me, I slipped into my best shirt, 
holstered my 38 and got to her shop as fast as I could. I was expecting something sordid. Blackmail, probably. Ooh. Boy, was I wrong. What I was asked to do was <laughs> visit a property so called Dersetto and find a piano in the loft. It was an old piano with secret drawers. The kind people who buy stuff in antique That's stores good, go down. crazy over it. It's really hard to the like house is supposed these old to be piled high with classy junk. Pain. Furniture, books, paintings. It looked like whoever owned Dersetto so was my about first to time get cleaned out. Playing the original Alone the Dark. I played, I played like, I emulated two when I just revenge on like some emulator years ago and never and just kept dying instantly so I gave up but uh, I played New Nightmare and the uh, the one that was just called Alone in the Dark which was fucking shit uh, so that's my first time playing one I'm gonna play through one two and three and then move on to New Nightmare hopefully because uh, I've always wanted to play one I Jack's revenge like I always like to look at that I was going to bring up the subject of money when Gloria Allen handed me a hundred and fifty dollars and a key. I kept myself from grinning at the thought of my banker's surprise. He doesn't like his victims getting away. I looked over a copy of the police report. The former owner of Dersetto, a guy called Jay Hartwood, had hanged himself in the loft. The coroner concluded it was a clear-cut case of suicide. I promised Gloria Allen I'd give the place a look over. So for piano. My report will be ready in a couple of days. Right. I've been reading up on the history of the old house. It's the kind of place ghosts run away from in terror. Grizzly murders, curses, lunacy. <laughs> Luckily, devil worship makes me smile. So this devil is my idea of a paid vacation. Whoever floats your boat, mate. What's that us? And the game starts. Basically. What's going on is I've been hired uh, by a furniture dealer to go find a piano. That's the gist of it. Uh, the guy, Jay Hartwood, who owned this mansion that I'm heading to, uh, he apparently hanged himself in the loft, so we're going to the loft to check it out. There's apparently a piano in there with loads of secret drawers and compartments that this antique dealer wants. Uh, basically, I... Uh, yeah. No, I think it's actually her property. Oh. As far as I'm aware, I'm not sure. Like, because I'm not a like antique dealer. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I think I'm a private detective. Look at those claws, man. Can't control it yet. No. Man, look at these graphics. Blow you away. Wait, can I control it? Oh, no. Oh. Oh yeah. For a horror game. 1992? 1992, man. Yeah, the whole game sprite. Lots of weird colours as well. No true blacks anywhere. Whoa, look at his eyes! See those fuckers? Scary shit. True horror. I wish I had that polygonal body. Man, I, I like the way our guy looks. Oh. 
this tension. Alright, here we go. Alright, here we go. How'd they run? Oh, oh! What? I don't know. I'm terrified to press anything. Oh, whoa, whoa! Looks like it. How, how do the, I don't understand the buttons. Uh, push, can I push? Push, push, no. How does it work? Right, actions, right, but. Okay. How do you push? Oh! That. Guys, this is this, the year I was born. This was four years before Resident Evil if it was released in 92. It's fucking crazy. Four, like, 1992. This game's fucking old. Oh! Wait, wait. Oh! Oh! Is the monsters try again? Oh! I'm, I'm about to, I'm like, pushing shit. Let's, let's check, check the piano. Oh no, it's pushing. Wait, oh god, you have to change this every time. Uh, nothing here. Maybe there's a secret compartment on it. Oh, this thing's trying to get in! Oh! Rifle! Yes, yes! Is it space for yes? Right, so do I have that? Rifle? Oh! This is the original sort of a horror game, the very first. Right, I'm... I'm how do you get out of the menus without like using it? I don't want to like. Can I just press enter? I'm terrified to press escape. By the way, I'm absolutely terrified. <laughs> no, I don't want to shoot something. Uh, actions. I looked up an instruction manual and the only thing I could find was that space is like, space and enter are the buttons. That's like the only buttons there are. How do you save? That's what I need to know. Oh! Oh, it's again! Oh, we found a letter! What'd you say? You said something, sorry. Alright, oh, I didn't even receive that message for some reason. Yeah, I have no... I, I, as far as I'm aware, enter and space are the only buttons and you do it all through that menu. Yeah, I like the spinning. Did I take that? It's hard to tell. Oh, they are coming! <laughs> they have freed hellish forces, and now the price must be paid. Their setter is the prey of evil. The sun has set. They will find my body, but will not have my soul. I love this game. I can imagine the master's fury and the terror in the hearts of his slaves. I love the voice acting. I hear their footsteps. Some may understand what I have done. May God forgive me. Farewell, Jeremy. Farewell, Hartwood. Hey, I'll, I'll press. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice. I didn't realize I could do all this. Yeah, definitely save constantly in this. What, 
Uh, this looks promising, no? See, to run, you double tap the arrow keys. And it has a really specific timing. Oh! Oh! Cool angle. I like how I'm just groping there. Like some kind of molester. Look! Ooh, come on! Ah, give me what you got, boy! What? Eh, um, oh fuck, I've forgotten it. I really should pay more attention. <laughs> Fragment of the Myth of the Golden Fleece Translation, Edouard de Villeban Hesperides Publications Then, Perseus came across Ichios, who had been turned into stone. He spoke to his companions and said, Beware of the Medusa. He who looks into their eyes is doomed to the same fate as that which befell poor Ichios, and will never more set eyes on Seraphos. Must we go blindfolded? asked Emelopes. Take up your bronze shields and polish them until they flash in the sun, answered Perseus. Fill your hearts with courage. May Artemis guide us as though we were an arrow from her quiver. But Emelopes was not satisfied. Why do that, Perseus? Is three inches of sharpened metal not enough to destroy these accursed creatures? Then Perseus drew his sword, which shone and glittered in the sun, and with it he dazzled Emelopes. Now what can you see? The companions of Zeus' sons laughed. Let us set to work so that our shields may shine like mirrors. Love the voice acting. I'll save now. Just constantly save. Can I save? Oh, fucking hell. Man. I need to get the fuck out of here. Run! How do you run? Ah, oh, there it's working. It wasn't working. Oh! Nice. What about that rocking thing? Rocking horse. Oh! Well, that's magical. Looks like there's something underneath this carpet. <laughs> Love that, the, the wee slidey slidey grope. Ah! I'm coming to get you! Yeah. Oh, he can push the chair. Never know where that game got it from. Is there a door? I swear I saw it. I swear I saw it. Oh, ah, there we go. Let's investigate these barrels. Nothing important. How do you think that guy sounds? His voice. Well, I did hear his voice at the start, but. He didn't sound moustache. He sounded more mustachioed in my head. Hi. How did I get out? Is that not a door? Wait, do I need to. Yeah, push a door? Maybe? No. Maybe that isn't even a door. Maybe it's all a lie. Oh! Oh shit! Here we go. The guy has very un, un like unsure steps. What's that? No, that don't push it. Looks like an arrow. Oh, yeah, it looks like a bow. Nice. Oh! What's in here? 
Uh, I'm sure this game does have weight restrictions with the inventory. This game's old, there's no way. I bet. You know. Is there nothing there? No. going left first, of course. Can't close the door behind me and shit. I'm scared. Oh. I like that painting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you will need to. Oh, a cherub. Yeah, I don't like cherubs either, they're weird. Oh, a key. Can use that on that chest. I like the whole pushing and pulling chairs and shit, I think that's cool. Yes! Saber spelled wrong. I'll pull that out. A big blade. Yes! I'm unstoppable. Big fucking blade, mate. I see these monsters fuck with me now. Oh! Holy shit! How did I fight? No, but I, I need to go into fight mode. Oh wait, no, 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 he's put his thing back. Oh! Oh no! I'm... Oh, here! Shit! How the fuck? Like, I'm not doing it. No, he's staying it, but he's just too slow. Oh, here I'm dying. I'm dead. Here, what the fuck? Here, I could not do anything. Here, I don't know. Holy shit, that was hard. Right. Okay. Right, I'm gonna practice before. Right. Oh, you can go walk backwards with it. You can go. Whoa! Oh, it broke. Oh no! I wasted it. Gonna load, load again. That's pretty funny though. Avast! 
Oh wait, I think it's ornamental. I think that's the problem. Him? Here, this is shit. This is fucking shit. Here, you can't hit, like... Oh wait, you have to hold it? Yeah, holy shit, man. Yeah, I'll have to watch this every time. Oh wait, no, I can just hold. Right, right. Remember, do not use the blade. Wait, I've got, I do have a rifle, but I don't want to really, shall I waste? <laughs> oh yeah, fucking take that, you cunt. Wah! <laughs> <laughs> I know, what the fuck? <laughs> Back off, zombie cunt. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, get the fuck, mate. Don't, don't come near me. Hey, I seen you around here. Don't fuck with me. Oh. Oh. Fucking did it. Oh. Jesus. Uh, it said there was nothing of interest. That, quite spooky music still, does that mean there's still things about? Quite scary actually. Wasn't it? Three. Oh, there's still spooky music going. Yeah, that's where I got the key. Got the window. Me on edge. Really scared now. Zombies can zombies can just like be on the other side of a door and shit, that's scary. Oh the house! This one's we come on, put your jukes up, come on! Let's fight! You little cunt! Come on! I'll beat seven shades of shit out of you. Come on. You little fucker, come on. You stand no chance against me. I've explored China. I have learned the way of the Shaolin monks. Take this and that. That's quite spooky, man. These wee guys up here. Close the door, please. I would guess it was set locations in these type of games. They don't really have respawning in old games. That's what I was wondering, kinda. It's, it's bugging me. Because it's this constant, like, suspense music that's... What was that? Yeah. 
Oh. Nah, surely there's something there, I'm not. What is that? Is that. The bad what? Oh no! Oh! I'm getting a rifle or something, man. Fuck that. I'm killing that thing. I don't know, but it's scary. Should I shoot it or kick it? Oh, it's jumping about! Oh my god! Oh, yeah, that's fucking me up. That's getting shot. How do I shoot? How do you shoot? Shoot! Oh my god! Oh my god! He keeps spinning! I'm gonna die! Scary game, man. Is there a way to blockade that? Can I push and pull that wardrobe? Oh my god! I killed it. Oh, fuck. I was terrified. Terrified. I like the music. This one, I like this. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah, good point actually. The way he opens fucking things terrifies me. Yeah. Ow! Throw that vase, mate. That's true. Wait, how did I just leave the menu? Oh, you, you, you can't, how do you leave the menu without. Ah! Stress! Don't understand how the game works. Oh, a key! Ah, you were making a break it. Good. There was that locked uh, chest of drawers back in here. Oh my god! Fuck! 
Oh my god. You bastard. You bastard. Why would you do that to me, game? Right. So that means we need to take the long way around each time. No? Oh. Alright. Two small mirrors. Strange. I smashed them as well. Don't know. Exactly. Right. How do I just leave the menu? Without... I don't know. So what was what was through this way? What's down here? Is that the bathroom? Yeah. Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, I don't like that. Oh no, the mad fighting music's playing. Come on! Let's tango! Oh! Oh, you cunt! Am I, am I dying? No, I'm alright. Die! Oh God! Where should I save the rifle for this thing? Oh, I've got no bullets. Fuck! and this and this oh god this thing's fucking tough Die, I'm dead. Yeah, I don't want to control it on You there, Johnny? Hello? Yeah. Do you not see me fucking up? I wasn't doing it. Yeah, I'm gonna get... Yeah, I'm gonna... I, I think, yeah, I think I'll, I'll won't head towards it. It didn't seem to attack me till I actually hit it first. Quite spooky. Oh!
Yeah. Yeah, all the mirrors are broken. That makes me... The mirror broken there in the bathroom. I wonder what that means. Yes! The whole Medusa thing. How do you know they're not Mad Medusa hands? Then what? That's true, I didn't turn it stone. I think so, I think I can actually move it. And the only thing is you get kind of caught in these animation loops. I'll try, I'll try. Oh, I need to make sure I don't walk on those steps. On the broken floor. I wonder if I can just walk by it. Is it? I don't know. Oh, fuck. Doesn't seem to want to move. Oh, the mirror broke? Yeah. wonder what that's about. Yeah, same. Wish I hadn't fucking shot that. Maybe I do need the gun. Hmm. I don't know, it was fast. Mm. I wonder if I could reload. Is it back here? I don't know. Now we'll just try to fight the duck. See if that makes any difference. Oh, hook it, hook it! What are you doing? Hook it! Why'd you turn around? You fucking idiot! Why are you facing that way? Oh my god! It's dead, it's dead, but I think I'm really dead. Six, holy shit. I got fucked up. That's true. Try using the mirror on them, maybe there's a reason they break when they attack. That's This is pretty tricky. Yeah, I, know, I don't know if they, they are the Medusa things or... That's true. Yeah. I'm still trying to fight the fucking cupboard. Yeah, yeah. 
throw the vase. Now what? I'm gonna start naming these properly. Yeah, we'll go and try the mirror. Did I, wait, did I pick up the mirror? I didn't, did I? I need to go pick it up from that wardrobe for the key. I like the incidental stuff. That's cool. Does it automatically use the key? Nah. Oh, I didn't mean that. That's in the same place. I was picked up too. Rifle bullets might do the trick too, so it was a good deal able to get out of it. Uh, is that a rifle or is it not? That is, yeah. How does it work though? Like, do I put it down in front of it? What? Oh, you cunt. No. Don't get it. No. Can I throw it? No. Try to shoot this thing. See if I can get it down with four shots, at least. I think you need to be closer, Jesus. Oh, I died! Holy shit! I didn't expect it to kill me so quick. Is that actually drink the potion? Drink the potion. That's where my energy comes from. Oh. Try this whiskey. You feel better. Your alcohol is is uh, is fueled. You aren't going to go on a rampage yet, just yet. Yeah. Uh, but if you can pick them back up, that means that you know you, to fit, you can put them down and pick them up. They're fine. I have no idea what they do. I'll stop backseat game. That's not that's not backseat gaming. Yeah, that's that's fine. Like I I don't know what I'm fucking doing at all here. Like this is my first time playing. And yeah, you don't know. You don't. You, you have no clue either. So you're just taking guesses. So I'm open to suggestions because I really don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, Burn it, burn it all. Uh, fuck man. Good reload. I guess I can just search for stuff. I wish the music would stop because it's stressing me out. really stressing me out. Back in the loft, that's in the loft. Is there anything I missed? Fuck 
Fucking demons, man. Leave me alone. What is the... Oil lamp? Yeah. Can I toss that and burn the fucking... straight away, is it not? Yeah, empty flask. So it restores eight. That's what it does. Come chair. Come with me. That must be where I need to go, surely. Missing from here. What is that? Definitely stuck. Uh, oh, I got the bro. 
Hope and Vase, don't know what I can use that for. Saber, chest key, oil can, oil lamp, rifle. Oh. I have a feeling it's stupid mirrors. There's two mirrors that can't be a coincidence, surely. Surely that's not a coincidence. What am I doing? Uh, Fragment of the myth of the golden. F then gonna... Perseus came across Ichios, who had been turned into stone. He spoke to his companions and said, "Beware of the Medusa. He who looks into their eyes is doomed to the same fate as that which befell poor Ichios." and will never more set eyes on Seraphos. Must we go blindfolded? May Artemis guide... But Emelopes was not satisfied. Why do that, Perseus? Is three inches of sharpened metal not enough to destroy these accursed creatures? Then Perseus drew his sword, which shone and glittered in Let the sun. Let us show that our shoes may shine like mirrors. Okay. Get close to this and put it down. I'm gonna save. Oh! Oh! I angered that thing. One's not dead though, what the fuck? Oh, it died fuck. Oh, oh. Yeah, he put the, the 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 mirrors in front of the statues and the, it sort of just fixed onto the statue there. And then they died. So, uh, what they were little Medusa cunts. Uh, I read the thing again and it just said that they'd been turned to stone. And. I just wanted to see if putting that in front of them actually would do anything, and it eventually just clipped onto it. Time to go downstairs and probably get killed. <laughs> oh! Oh! Ho, ho, ho. I bet you this fucking thing kills me. I knew it! I knew it! <sighs> Fucking knew it! I knew the fucking... Come on, let's fight! Back the fuck up! Jesus, die! It's 
a good animation. What the? You can't hit me and I'm hitting it. Maybe I can't kill this. I think this can die. I hit this fucking suit of armor like fucking with 40 kicks and I would die. Suppose it is like a ghost. Wait, what? No, I didn't click that. We doing? No. What? What the fuck's going on? I can't. What? Why? It won't let me select it in the menu anymore. Oh my god! What's going on? It's broken. Why? Oh my god! What's going on? I can't load a save anymore. It's fucked. Completely broke. Oh, it's fixed it again. What the fuck? Hi. Games. Love it. Love them. I mean, not to get anywhere near that fucking suit of armor, fucking dickhead. Oh. Spooky. Is that here? What is that? What is that? Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh no! Come on, fucking die. September 27th, 1924. I have decided to keep this diary. Too many inexplicable events have taken place recently. Never have dreams so haunted my every waking moment. Perhaps my romantic mind was too dull and has only now woken mm -hmm. up to these new paths and visions. Not to see. Some, seeing my recent paintings, may question my sanity. 
I can only ask them, what is sanity? Where does madness begin? September 28th, 1924. The night is pitch black. I am again drenched in sweat. I was wandering in the dunes among giant standing stones. They were arranged in a circle and the wind whistled about them. I plunged my hand into the soil and felt that repulsive thing which was trying to catch me. What did you do, huh? It seized me. I struggled to break free of its loathsome embrace and managed to tear my hand away. It was covered in sticky substance. I was gripping a knife. Should have. Oh, you should have that, mate. Should have wasn't a fucking fat hog. October 5th, 1924. The stone circle is a pentacle. Der Seto's library is filled with books on the occult. I will study those books until I find some explanation for the dreams. The visions that haunt me must be connected to my discoveries. I shall have to undertake a profound exploration of my dreams. December 16th. Dear God! Dear God, I have found the knife. It was hidden here. And what I have learned fills me with apprehension. It is a sacrificial dagger belonging to some unholy cult. The thought of that blade tearing through human flesh horrifies me. Yet I must continue my research. Der Seto is a storehouse of treasures. Was my father right after all? Getting some uh, similar vibes from the other games. January 23rd. I spend all my days plunged in dusty books. The servants are convinced I am mad. The whole At cult, night, I awaken them with my thing, an ancient thing. The dreams are draining what sanity I still have. I have tried staying awake, but in vain. My visions Weird are dreams, changed. you know, prop no doubt the influence of finding my objects that were research. in your dreams in the real world. February 7th, 1925. The Dark Man, that is what I call him, has revealed his true face to me. He appeared, as usual, near the fireplace. But this time, it is he approached me. It is 1925, and I, I, I would assume that there's a lot that's rife with fucking racism. I think this is Louisiana as well, so you know what I mean? It's definitely his like terrible him. smile will haunt me to my dying day. Is that racist? His breath was ice and his burning eyes froze me. I could not move. I know, as surely as I have ever known anything, that the face I saw, the face that has turned my nights into hellish torture, is the mask of no, death. I'm just imagining this my normal guy, this normal black guy, just standing there, just, like, waiting for her appointment with this guy. He's like, all right, I'm here for an appointment. And he's like, dear God, I can't believe it. March 10th. My exhaustion is beyond description. The endless reading burns my eyes. It seems that pirates frequented the area. Dr. Herbert insists I keep to my bed. I have moved to another bedroom and sleep much better now. The dark man has mm, not gone. Wonderful meet this guy. I know it. He will wait for as long as he must. Unless I, Jeremy Hartwood, can find a way to Imagine send him back name to whatever what hell he comes from. March it's like from Harry Potter. My poor knowledge of Greek and Latin is a serious handicap to my reading. I have, nevertheless, made a great step forward. I drew the symbol on Lock the floor. Her. He can no longer go there. I want I to understand her, that 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 I can like. do the same thing in my bedroom. Where's actually? So I need to draw a pen a penance.
I can imagine his rage and frustration. Only last night he found his way back into my dreams. March 13th. The translation will seriously dent what money I have left. I cannot paint. My pictures are clearly the work of a lunatic. The collector Thornhill's embarrassed smile was proof of that. March 29th. He has come back. <laughs> he found the door to my dreams. I am too weary to attempt any defense. I have no strength left to fight, and he knows it. He considers me dead already. Could I possibly? March 30th. Oh, I'm on, I'm loving this. The cave my father sought for so many years is here, beneath the house. <laughs> Wait, the butler discovered a crack in the cellar wall. A breeze blows in through it, icy and repugnant. I, I am filled with it's horror so at the thought of my father dying in this place. I will carry to my grave yeah. the vision of his face. It's funny because it actually the works. Of that fatal heart attack. Because it's so hammy, like it really works. His body was twisted. He had webbed. His fingernails were torn and bloody from scrabbling at the floor. Dr. Gray concluded that death had been due to a heart attack. It was Waits, who some time later was informed that my poor father had in fact bitten off his tongue and choked on his own blood. He's must have been really fun recording this. March 31st. I explored the caverns in a dream. The dark man came with me. Strangely, I felt almost well. How can I describe what I saw? No, what words are capable of explaining such evil? I realized that my death was of no interest to him. The dark man wants something else. He seeks a body. His avid servants are now free. I am the cause. <laughs> it is almost funny. A curse is on Dersetto. From the foundations to the very rooftop, I can no longer struggle, let alone eradicate the evil that grips the house. The end is the very near. Has... I can feel it. I have taken the decision to... <laughs> May he who finds this diary pray for my soul. I pray for your soul. You sound like you're having a fucking terrible time. Aye, Jeremy Hartwood. Yeah, this is the one I like. This is my favourite piece of music so far. Yeah. There's an enemy in the next room and I'm terrified. It's the tentacles. See it? Look! His head's like popping up and shit. Oh! Ah! Oh, 
shoot. Four? Oh my god, I'm dying. We need to get that jogging ball, I think. Don't know. Oh. I don't think you can examine stuff in this. Oh, but I can't. I don't know where I am. Yeah. I literally did not, like, know what to do there. Why are you opening that, you fucking pleb? Didn't ask you to do that. Going about doing your own fucking thing. Oh! What was that? Didn't like that. What's that? Is it curtains? Oh, that is a cool angle. Is that? Can you read that? No. I have a feeling I'm gonna get an instant death here. Oh, I fucking knew it! The ho the homing axes, homing axes, ghost axes. Oh! oh! Holy shit! Fucking homing ghost axes. Who knew? I knew I was gonna have a. a I was like, you're gonna be an instant death here. Look at that, and arrows as well. Try different stuff. Oh. So it is actually a weapon. That's pretty cool. I there, I was, I couldn't do anything. I actually genuinely tried there. It knocked me back, no, it knocked me back, like, I couldn't do it. When you get hit with it, it knocks you back. No, but they're homing. Circles. I don't think, by the way, I want you to fucking play this. <laughs> Running in a circle in this game. With the arrow keys. Here, you have no clue what this is like. This controls, like, like running is hard enough. You need a specific timing to run. Like a double tap. A really specific timing in it. It's really hard.
come back here. Wait, there's this room. Oh! Oh shit! This place is big. Go left first. Oh my god, there's so many doors! It's locked. My right, fuck. This doesn't look good. Oh, some Resident Evil shit. Ah, what's this? Oh, ah! Run! Run! Ah, oh, running is so difficult. Oh no, there's music. Run! Oh my god! What are you doing? Yeah, this place is huge. What a mansion! Oh yeah! Oh! What's he doing? Should I shoot him? That'll break my saber. Oh god. I can't tell how close he is. She's getting blasted with a rifle. Is that right, mate? Ah, you've got a saber, eh? I've seen Indiana Jones, mate. Oh shit. He's blocking it. That's the same. Oh! Uh, that, oh, that's so shit. Oh man, what a mansion. So, you can block the the gunshots. Like, he has to be fought with the saber. 
No, I think the thing is, he's like a ghost, he needs to be fought with a saber. I don't understand the logic of how you get hit and not get hit. <laughs> like what? He can hit me but I can't hit him? by swinging your sword. What are you doing? Oh, this great bug. I love it. Great. I just kept doing it. There we go. Man, this game hates me.
really low in health. Really low in health, though. I don't have one. I knew how to actually run every time. So hard. Here, you don't understand. These games are bad. Like <laughs> they're just badly. They're old. Look at this game's Demonia trying to do like All this crazy shit. Signs and rituals by Heinrich. The ritual of invocation demands that the officiant be pure. We have already described the complex operations to be followed in order to call those that sleep in superior dimensions. We shall, for the present, limit ourselves to the sign of mutual recognition used amongst their number by adepts of the cult of the old ones. The sign also serves as protection when in the presence of a servant of evil. No. Aye, well, it does seem like I played it. It's uh, very similar the to the other game. The sign resembles a blessing, save that the first and little fingers are both folded beneath the thumb, right. whilst the second and third fingers are held up. It would appear that this sign has no effect on adepts of a certain rank with knowledge of particular secrets contained in the corpus demonicus. The use of such signs is not without considerable risk to the user during any attempt to call upon those from without. Hmm. Interesting. Why is this being repainted? You don't like the red, I like the red. Did that work? I also like how the controls just don't work sometimes, that's a good feature where he spins. He has like a momentum in his spin. It's really weird. That's what happens during fights, like he spins away. Is this the way it is? It's an old game. Oh, this is spooky. I really need health. Is that a record player? Why? Anything else? I really like this music. It's really, it's really like. Oh, run! Don't like that. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. Oh, what is that? You actually get that to fuck? I'm running upstairs. Oh my god! What is that? Stay away! I'm not into that. I don't trust like that. Can I get into this cupboard? Guys, well and truly pish now. Look at the oh. fucking vibrations. What is that thing, man? Oh, it's just sitting there waiting for me. Oh no. Oh, it just turned me around and I went up the stairs as well. And I died. <laughs> Great. Such as 
such as fate. Maybe I need to not take the record. Let's see what happens if I just walk forward. No, it's not to do with the record. That is spooky, man. I don't trust. I don't trust that. To trigger if I go over here. Wait, bang. So spiders. Oh no, I'm gonna get killed by spiders. I died by spiders. Right, I know where there's health now, so I can go back and get that. Oh, that book happened again. Great. You have to press enter, that's what happens. It's just a weird thing with the buttons, it just like, if you don't click enter on that uh, menu, it breaks it. For whatever reason. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I thought that was a record player it was sitting on. Wait, what? I came up this way? What? What's in here? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, there's a record player in here. I can take it with me, apparently. Fucking belt. Oh, nice. Oh no, I can't carry anything else. And there's something happening. There's something happening, no! game. Doesn't like me. Just want some peace, man. Peace and love. Very confused by the layout. There's a lot of shit going on. Can I get by this suit of armor without it killing me? Right, I need that health. What am I doing now? What am I doing now? 
so there's some rooms I can't go into without getting fucked by the... whatever that is. The Christian Bale ghost. Holy shit, I'm finding loads of shit now. What's the biscuit box do? Oh, is that restore my energy? Great. Don't know. Good ones. I should eat them. Um, I'm fucking ready, man. 27. I like the alternate angles when you go, like, if you've been in. Like a room, then you leave that room, and then it switches how the room looks. You cannot carry anything else. Oh no. An empty box. Ah, I don't need that. Drop. Well, I need to drop the... I'll drop all the shit I don't need. Definitely don't. I can pick it back up. I'll just go back and find it. Not what I did. Nah, I wouldn't let me put it back. There's no room. Okay, there we go. Sorted. Now I've got a fucking blade. Matchbox, that means I can light the lantern. I'm going to that dark room. Man, this place is fucking massive. What a mansion. Let's go upstairs. What? Oh! Take that! And that! And that, you fucking dick! Come on! Boom! Oh! Let's fucking tango! Can I take this left, mate? Can he take it? Put you on your fucking... He's a fucking... He's an expert. Expert boxer. He's my kind of guy. It's full of water. Can I fill something up with that? What the hell? I can fill up with that. This is cool. Fuck. Let's 
this game wants me dead. Box of shoes? What the fuck do you use that for? Open. Oh, here! Yes! does it automatically when you uh, step over them. I wonder... Where's that dark room again? Oh wait, it's back there, isn't it? No, it's a spider room. Up here. They probably die in one hit, I guess. You would hope. Going on or in the dark room. Ooh. Oh, wait, you can't. Oh, fuck. I guess I can get rid of these keys. because it's huge.
forget, can I put all the stuff in the bowl maybe? Like that. No, that's weird. So the arrow doesn't go with the bowl? Oh wait, it does! Oh, thank fuck. Let's just see how it worked. That fucking statue yet. Didn't really like me trying to pick it up, it was like it's too heavy, mate. There we go. Excellent tape. To now. What did, I've got that key. Have I used that yet? Is that what? What? Yeah. Does it work here? Yeah. Don't go in there because that's where the the demon. The demon is. I don't know, it's scary. I need to go in the spider room, fuck it. Wait, what about this? That was locked. Oh, there's rats in here. Aye. I'm gonna fucking kick their arses. <laughs> oh my god, they're tough son of bitches! Die! Here. What's this all about? Ah, uh, must be, yeah, that's just those rats. Here, what the fuck? Die! Is this a joke? Here, that's an actual joke. Fucking rats. Here, what the fuck? Is this broken? I don't understand. Did 
Did they just not die? Are they ghost rats? Spider room. Uh, 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 you don't know if you get touched, you just uh, fall back, like you can't. I'm not fighting my broken sword. No, I'm not. I'm fighting my knife. You've cunt. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, he's in. Just the angle change. Then you hit me there, fuck you. Oh, he did a lot of damage. That no, it's that thing. What is that? Don't know. There was shit coming out the the thing. What is all that? from afar 
by Lord Bolliskin. Following a splendid journey, the sunny harbour came into sight. The locals were much impressed with one's arrival in their midst. One had time to sketch several of them and notice signs of degeneracy. Some children showed one their queer hands <laughs> that would inspire uneasiness. Upon the promise man. of a few coins, a child has undertaken to reveal to one a most prodigious phenomenon of a natural order. One admits to being skeptical as to the prodigious the of the marvel, whatever it may be. Indeed, one suspects it to be little more than an evening stroll to some charming wooden hut situated in the forest hereabouts. One will nonetheless go, for it is always well to submit to such local enthusiasms. One admits to being somewhat flabbergasted. The Milky Way shone like the fires of the apocalypse from the inky celestial vault. Certain distant stars, normally invisible to the naked eye, were clearly visible, the glittering indeed vault. with a strange intensity. The heavy clouds that had settled above the village had no hold over that place. It would be pointless to offer here the names of the constellations one perceived in utter clarity. Apart from the interminable length of such a list, one might conceivably risk being charged with exaggeration. The cross cast its shadow on the ground. The sea in the distance was dead calm. Tonight, one will return to that spot and draw those stars. Tomorrow night, one will at last see Halley's Comet in all its brilliance. The youngster will carry torches. Despite one's developed sense of direction, honed by years of travel, one feels the drawings will, one is convinced, set light to the souls of men. Such a moon! One lost count of the craters, so sharply was their definition. Loath as one is to seem excessive in one's appraisal, one cannot but feel that the forest clearing is indeed a place outside the common laws of time and space. Surely it is not an hallucination. How strange to consider that idle conversation, some research in the British Museum, and a voyage to this backward village should culminate in so astounding a discovery. It may be that others have noticed the extraordinary nature of that place. How else could one explain the presence of that cross? Hmm. I wonder if that's pertaining to anything that we need to know. Can I just get rid of these books, actually? Ah, but you can just pick them back up again. I read this, didn't I? Aye. The book room. Oh my god, that fucked me up. Oh, Jesus.
What? Oh no! Oh, that's cool. I don't like that at all either, that's cool though. Dunno, good shit. Cool shit. Mental shit. Internet comment etiquette just uploaded. Goodbye old etiquette. Goodbye old etiquette. Apparently. Yeah. Again? Here, oh my god, these things. Nah. Shit, got so much shit on me. What did I use it for? Can I just put the. Alright. Oh. Wait, oh, that's shit now. Reload. Spider's gonna fucking kill me. <gasps> Get the fuck out of there. Run. Oh wait, so I do need that key. Whoops. Why? Run! 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 That? Oh, I forgot about this. I need to come back to that one. Something that. Right. Yeah, I'll go back in a bit after I open that door.
What? So that's not. That's not that? Okay. Guess I'll just leave the key in here then. No, don't leave that. Oh, wait, I can just take the suit. Oh, shit. Yuck, some human flesh. Did that hurt me or something? Oh, we cannot eat it. Is that the problem? Hmm. I wonder if I can use that somehow. Like, drop it in front of a monster. Understand this room. Back up the stairs.
through that fucking floor, actually. Did I even search that uh, wardrobe? Oh! A what? What are these? What are these barrels? What about? I like that view of his face. John the Styes. Look at that arse, man. It's beautiful. What? What's going on? Can I cover up the painting or something? Oh. That wouldn't stop the arrow on the other side, will it, though? You haven't had a fucking laugh. I right, hear No, I'm not happy with that. Yeah, fuck that. That was bullshit. Hit me through the fucking wall. Maybe. Wait, what? Is this a different save? It's fucking. It's just, it automatically, the game just doesn't like space and hates that. I'm 
not happy with that fucking arrow. But you can't. What's that? What's that? Oh! I can't fight it. <laughs> that is fucking horrible. Oh wait, I can. Nah, it's fine now. Wait. It can't follow me out. Shit. There it is, and I have to put on the lamp, and it's going to be in the dark. I'm going to go all the way back around. Where am I? I don't know. Exactly. I'm going to call it the Bugler Monster. Pixelated bastard. See him? Oh, back up. Back off, bro. Oh, he can phase through walls. Ah, but you can't do it when you're holding the lamp. You need to, like, you can't interact. A secret passage. You can phase through walls, this guy, by the way. Alright, come on, lamp, work. You fucking moron! Can I get him hit with arrow? No, he can't leave the room. I forgot. Fuck! I'm gonna get hit with this arrow. I can't wait. Can I put the statuette in front of it? Can't dodge them. I've like opened up most places actually. I'm just really scared of those mad things that uh, the vibrating shit. Fuck off, Bibla Monster. Got an idea. Yes! I 
Right, this is a secret thing, surely. No? Really? Come on! What? That looks like a mad secret. Oh! Oh! Uh! Fragments of the Book of Abdul. In the antique city of wow, Dead Relia, like Cthulhu dreams and waits. In the pit of time, the unspeakable lies in wait. That is not dead which can eternal lie. Rely your blocks of stone seal the ritual that gives birth to fear. Cthulhu for Tang! Cthulhu for Tang! Aya! Aya! Let he who knows how to invoke the stones act. It you can is invoke time. my stones any day. Uh -huh. Let the shadow of Cthulhu darken the sky. May the servitor of the black goat of the woods with a thousand youngs sound his flute in honor of the uns. Speakable. Cthulhu for Tang! Cthulhu for Tang! Aya! Aya! May he who great. may not be named cast his withering gaze upon the unbeliever. For he is the door, the key, and the guardian of the door, and holds you now in his immense power. I feel weak. Oh no! Here! Oh, what the fuck? Here! Here! What the fuck? Here, that was fucking amazing. Ah, I read the book, I couldn't like, handle it. These books will fuck you up, man. If rocks could talk. After the criminal selling off of Florida by the foul usurper, my father elected to remain in this inhospitable land, where we were free at least to express our royalist feelings and hope our country would come to its senses. In 1818, a certain Pickford bought up Ledoux's land after the poor fellow had ruined himself in unfortunate speculation. Pickford soon turned out to be the most loathsome human we had ever encountered. Human, human, human. He was an adventurer of the worst kind, nouveau riche, and bloated with a grotesque sense of self-importance. First came the incessant army of men with shovels, digging into the mountain of earth that was to fill in the surrounding swamp. The undertaking was quite stupendous. We learned from a slave that the final objective was to connect the existing caves with another one of gigantic proportions. Racked by a mania of persecution, Ilya Pickford constantly fired his workers and hired new ones. He did all he could to keep anyone from learning about his plans. My father was amused and said, the poor fool will end up getting lost in his own cave. <laughs> but the walls went up and tongues started wagging. Our detestable neighbor had been a sailor, a ruffian grown rich on questionable trade. These tasteful stories were told of him. Oh, what's this? Is that a map of the house? 
When the work was finished, Pickford invited us to the opening of his rambling mansion, which he named Berceto. Ah, My father asked what the strange name meant. Pickford answered, Berceto reminds me of Astarte, the fertility goddess. Around here, the name is Shub Nigarath, I believe. That a name so steeped in evil should be said aloud came as not such a shock to my father, as he himself confided in me some while later. We left immediately. In June of 1862, Derceto was burned down in unexplained circumstances. It was undoubtedly the deed of some jealous Yankee or another. It was amazing to watch the servants rushing into the flames to try and save their bullet-riddled master. After that terrible night, their set of fell into ruin. Its blackened walls were soon overgrown, as human-built works always are, by ever-present nature. In 1875, the property was eventually bought by a gentleman whose name was Howard Artwood. I was sorry that my father, who delighted in fine conversation, was no longer alive to enjoy the company of this new neighbor. Right. Learned and well-versed in history, he had made a particular study of piracy. It was Artwood who told me that Pickford had commanded a ship that flew the flag of piracy. That explained the scoundrel's great wealth. Artwood was fascinated by Pickford and undertook a great deal of research in an attempt to find some treasure that he was convinced the pirate had hidden. He went through the ruins inch by inch. He then had the burnt-out house rebuilt exactly as it had been and refurbished the library that had miraculously escaped the flames on the night of the Great Fire. Artwood set about studying every volume in that yeah. library and often talked to me of his research. He was a handsome widower, deeply attached to his son Jeremy, who was later to... Artwood worked incessantly, first from the room I offered him, then from his own freshly restored home, which he rebaptized Derceto. I imagine he hoped to enlist the help of the god of good fortune in his treasure hunt. As far as I have ever been able to tell, all his searching came to nothing. There were no lost treasures to be found at Derceto. I learned of Artwood's death while I was in Paris. But that, as they say, is another story. Wait, I'm not going mental this time. There's another book, fuck. Wait, is he gone? Oh no, there he is. Oh. Oh no. I don't know. There's a mechanism to trigger. How would that push it? I'm gonna have to lead him over here. Fucking. He looks like a fucking snares monster. The Sons of the Sun and of the Shadows Lieutenant Lope de Vega's account of his astounding travels to the land of the Aztecs. Holy Christ! cried <laughs> Captain Cortez, astonished by the strange rite we beheld. 
We found the savages half naked. They were throwing balls of silver and gold savages. at each other. They laughed as if they meant it. Those clearly maddened by some heathen drug. And yet, Dro drug. should one of them fail to catch the ball thrown in his direction, the poor devil was seized and dragged off to be sacrificed in their temple. As we discovered, this frightful game was a ritual most holy to them and symbolized the movement of the heavenly bodies. The dropping of a ball foretold a catastrophe. That is what the Aztecs believed in their godless ignorance. Their countless deities could only be appeased through endless human sacrifices. The victim's heart, which was still beating, lay in the hand of the murderous priest. The interior of the temple was surprisingly cool. The weight of our armor, our exhaustion, even the burden of our suffering, they were all banished by a sense of awe that the crudely magnificent altar instilled. In the tomb-like silence, a deep voice chanted an incantation. The majestic statue of the water goddess, Chal Chi Huitlique, seemed to throb mean? with vitality. This massive stone, draped in a golden cloak and studded with precious stones, was coming to life before our very eyes. Hmm. Horror of horrors! The granite eyes of the statue, empty of life only moments before, were now injected with blood. We staggered back in amazement. Dom Jose was taken by a fit of convulsions. He tried to raise up his crucifix, as if to ward off an attack by demons. The heathen priest laughed cruelly. The statue's mouth cracked open in a deathly grin, bearing teeth sharpened to dagger points. Captain Cortez cried, ATTACK! But it was no juice. We were glued to the spot. We were unable to move. Our armor seemed to be bolted to the temple floor. Our legs weakened, and we collapsed in a thunder of steel. Only Cortez had the presence of mind to unsheath his dagger. He hurled it at the cackling priest. Four inches of the finest Toledo steel buried itself in the heathen's face. His blood spurted, splashing the now lifeless idol. We picked ourselves up with difficulty. Never will I forget that terrible moment. My companions, naturally enough, told tales of devilish enchantments cast upon our armor. Whatever the truth of that, I could not deny that the supreme god of the fourth universe had treated us as Oof. mere playthings. I am convinced that a terrible energy is yet contained within that heathen statue. A power yes, strong sta enough to change a, a proud one. conquistador into a helpless puppet. Drawing of Chalchi Quitlique ah, by Dom Jose de la Sierra, done before the destruction of the Aztec temple of Tenochtitlan. Back off! Yeah. Uh, fuck man, my health's so low. No. That's empty. Oh! 
<laughs> what the fuck? Man? How did he do that? So no way to Can I back off? Can I like stand here? Maybe. Did that work? No. He dodged that. What? Ah, uh. can't. I should actually see. Dead to the one. Oh, is that good? He's dead. <gasps> Can you change angle, please? Nothing important. Get pushed up. Uh, I fucked that painting up. I 
shot a fucking arrow back at it. Aye, it's fucked. Fucking dick painting, honestly, fuck it. Ah, uh, it's in bedroom. The Creatures of Night Hubertus by the Bald. Hubertus the Bald, translated from Latin by his brother in prayer, Fratre Johann <laughs> Marcus. Oh, of monstrosity. You. you who read me know that night engenders monsters and that night creatures exist. This guy's the accursed great. book of Abdul al Hazred is clear on this matter. That is not dead which can eternal lie. Unhappy he who knows that book. Unhappy he whose eyes alight upon that foulest of texts. Unhappy he who implores the standing stones of the pit. Stagnant waters are like the memory of men. Beneath the surface calm, Clawed oh, beasts await and are known to initiates as the deep ones. Awaiting yeah, his ones. prey, the deep one seizes him and drags him down to the abyss, where Dagon, the yeah. cruel god, swims and reveres him whose name may not be pronounced. Of libraries. Oh, of libraries. Unhappy he who frees the prowler. Unhappy he who meets the prowler erring among the books. He generates the vagabond that comes from other spheres. He believes the vagabond does not so exist. So that's the vagabond? Or am I the vagabond? I think so. He will feel the embrace of death, for in the eyes of the vagabond, books are no more than dreams. So he's pissed off at a no to get some books. Wind. The vagabond so that's knows no mate, it's a dream. how to take the breath of the reckless. Stone no more than wind, the vagabond knows how to take the breath of the reckless. Hmm. Of strife. He who speaks does not know, and believes he is able to kill the creatures of the night. Folly. Evil is conjured up by science and secrecy. What? He who prowls among books will perish by the blade. What he who flies on? in the dark caverns will scream in fear. He who swims in the depths will evaporate. But he who believes he knows, knows nothing. He who knows, says nothing. Of death. There are domains more terrible than death. That is not dead, which can eternal lie. Each creature is conjured up and is not dead, but returns to the origins. A monster, a science. Steel kills the vagabond who never dies. Steel kills dies. the vagabond who never dies. Translator's note. Here ends the manuscript of Hubertus who died in the library of the convent of Teruella in the year of yeah, our Lord, 1666. Requiescat in pace.
get another angle. Wait, is there other shit on this table? I don't know. That's where I got the stuff. Back off. Get the f get to fuck. I ain't fucking with you. Oh shit. Ah. Oh. oh wait, I'll just drop it here for the time being. Is there room? No, no, no! Throw it. Oh no! I accidentally loaded the. Uh, I didn't press any button, but it's, it loaded the save anyway. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, is he just gonna come through here, isn't he? This is a steel, isn't it? Here, oh no, I've got tons of shit on me. Oh no, there's so much shit here. All this shit. I need to drop some shit. No, I need. No, but I need to drop some shit. Good. 
stuff. I guess I'm gonna fight him. Oh no. Oh wait, I can't take my lamp. You didn't know this though. You knew none of this. Maybe the dagger's better than the knives. Yeah. Save. Then put my, my lamp down. Run that oil. I've got that full other oil can, I suppose. Ah, yes! Brilliant. That was great. That was so satisfying. The music came back on, never. Can get rid of one of the knives. Ah, I suppose that's true. Get two parchments as well. The Book of Yael. Signs of stone. Eucharistic rituals of forbidden cults. Texts collated by Monsignor Vache, legate in the Curia of the Vatican. I don't like where this is going, man. Numerous devilish cults speak of monstrous creatures called the Old Ones. These supernatural beings are believed to be possessed of powers equivalent to those of the gods of antique religions. Adepts of such cults refer to forbidden literature in order to cause these frightful entities no, to appear before them. Like being adept. That's how you pronounce it. I bet he's a fucking... Put, he's, he's putting on a mad accent. What serious student break. of folk myths has not come across the names of Cthulhu and Shub Nigurath? Shub Shub. It must be said that these creatures wield tremendous power and are difficult to control once they have been unleashed into the world. Those who serve, he who goes in shadows, protect themselves with signs of stone carved into the walls of houses or engraved on various yes, objects. Signs of stone, is that a talisman, I guess? No. Okay. Well, those right. misguided servants of evil, the best protection appears to be that afforded by the sign of the most ancient gods. Minor Engraved stone. in Minar stone, a heavy material said to be disagreeable to the touch. The sinful practices of those who fall into such errors can only lead to the darkest of despair and are a mortal danger to the soul. 
such monsters as those invoked by these foolhardy individuals are engendered when reason drops its guard. Man is easily tempted into perversion. It is why we must forever remain alert and renounce Satan with each breath we take. His way like is no one can really, really say what in number. is bad about Satan. They just say, oh, he's bad. Don't you know? The Sacrificial Dagger. Otto Stern. Lumina Books. The importance placed on ritual sacrifice oh, is constant in religious cult practice. Propitiating the gods is a theme common to many religions. The Old Testament affords many examples. Primitive polytheistic belief systems integrate sacrifice in their rituals as part of the recurrent process of reaffirmation and, naturally enough, group cohesion. The members of their social and religious community come together in an act of purification and atonement. Sounds like he's about to turn Scottish at some point. It would be erroneous to imagine the act of human sacrifice, linking priest, offering and God, C.F. Manzetti, Stone Courts, as anything less than a vital focusing of the group's faith. The act also ensures the continuing appeasement of the god, but only if practiced by a recognized officiating priest using the appropriate instrument. Hmm. Studies made concerning primitive religious groups bear witness to the central role of sacrifice in living ritual. My own work in the field of ethnopsychology brought me into contact with a sorcerer Edward. living in the region of Arkham. He introduced me to Hi. the rite of steel, linked to a ceremony known as adoring the black goat of the woods with a thousand youngs. The god being adored is known as the vagabond. I think I just killed. Here, the dagger's roll, which allows the life breath to pass from one dimension to another, is essential. The vagabond is a frightening figure, being able to move where he wants and to kill those who have displeased the goat guard, for whom he acts oh, as a no. go between. The goat is clearly Shit. a fertility god. The priest having spoken the invocation, must choose the oh, appropriate no. dagger for the sacrifice. Oh. Uh. The knife oh, is a sinusoidal oh. blade that must be oh. dipped seven times on night when the moon is full in water that has been distilled a hundred times will be laid aside since it would send the vagabond back into his Thank own fuck. dimension. See you the priest will rather choose the dagger uh. with a curved blade. That is more appropriate for slitting of the lamb's throat. That's for this act transfigures the sorcerer priest and plunges the assembled worshippers into a divine trance. I wonder what happens if you use them on them. About 15. What? Never heard of it. Jesus. Juan Luis Jorge, De Biblioteca, Reflections on the Power of the Verb in Certain Texts, Archaeos Publications, 1919, Stafford.
Translation does not alter the occult power contained within such forbidden texts. The malevolent energy is in no way diminished. The spell must be cast aloud and clearly, in certain languages or little-known dialects. Maglafach Fathang. The reader will understand that, in the light of these revelations, I would be foolhardy to continue quoting from the text I have before me. If spoken aloud in its entirety, it would surely awaken powerful and malignant forces. I will go further and say that simple reading of some of the more technical passages describing specific practices is in itself a perilous exercise. The ill-prepared reader can easily fall prey to attacks of demented hysteria, not unlike those described in cases of individuals said to be possessed by evil spirits. I recommend the study made by Zempf, Urbain, Grandier, and Loudon, and the reports made by the Reverend Richard Price concerning a number of astonishing, to say the least, exorcisms carried out in a parish near Providence. Given what I have written, we must be grateful to the librarians of the British Museum who have never allowed consultation of the work of Al-Azif's startling work, the infamous Necronomicon. Copies of that work do exist, in spite of the zeal of book-burning inquisitors. For proof, we need look no further than the British Museum, of course, and the sealed archives of the Miskatonic University in Arkham. Other examples of books whose evil can be unleashed by any thoughtless reader are von Jutz's von Unersprechlichen Kulten and the abominable the Vermis Mysteries by Ludwig Prien, whose sordid death should be a lesson to all those tempted by a study of the occult. Sweet. Ludwig oh, yeah. Prien. That's the book we were just talking about. The Vermis Mysteries. Menemis Mysteries. Nomine Invocatoris, si non sanctificatis Can't read any of this, pal. Ave. De Vermis Mysteries non absolvo folem legendum fatum et eum versus. Tibi magnum inominandum signa stellarum nigrarum et... <laughs> oh! What's her name? Oh, Pakistan. Pakistan, thanks for the follow. Woohoo. I was so confused. I just had that laugh and I thought it was in the fucking game. What? The gargoyle, I uh, put down the... So basically I just walked really close to the monster and put down the mirrors and uh, it clipped on to like the statues uh, that were beside it and that just worked, that killed them instantly. Yeah, that book's a bad, bad time. I think it was Goober. I know, I did, I did, but I didn't think it would actually kill me. Wait, oh, this is before I... Oh, wait, no, it's not. Drop that. So, yeah, it was a really weird puzzle at the very start of the game. The only thing was I just read the text and it said about how uh, Achaeus was turned to stone and Achaeus was then commanding them to uh, 
polish their shields and use them against Medusa. And there was two stone statues at either side and two mirrors, so I was like, maybe if I put it down it'll work, and it actually did. So, put this down. Can I actually keep that other book because it's crazy? The one that killed me. Might need to invocate some kind of crazy beast. Oh, maybe right. Oh, that's a good point, actually. Probably refill that oil. Get rid of the item as well. It's not a limit of 50, you can just add them, that's good. Same as the elf. I should go try and kill those orbs. Dagger. It was a curved blade, what they were talking about, wasn't it? Oh no 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 Oh god oh, Fuck What I wonder what I might do now Away. Aye. I 
fold it up. Well, it did not. Kill these wee bastards. Maybe they're just non killable. Game fucking trick me. I like how I wasn't even in front of, in, like in front of them. So then you just swallowed it there. Oh, come on, run, run, run! You fucking idiot! Oh, here we go. I'm going to die. Run! Oh my god. Run! Fucking hell. Run! Run! Yes, I don't know how, even know how it works. You double tap, but it's like the most precise timing. The trial of Captain Pregst, as reported by his faithful companion Elisha Smith, known amongst his fraternity by the awful name of Captain Ellie Hell. Transcribed from the log found aboard the wreck of the frigate Astarte by H. Hartwood. By all the devils, roared Pregst, glaring at William, the judge. Curse it, Will. It'll take much more than every cannon in the blasted navy to make me change me mind. You're the greatest blaggard that ever joined our fraternity. Am I not pregged? Captain of the Astarte and bloodiest villain in all the seven seas. Bloody Ezek, they call me. And you think I'll tell you where I hid my treasure? The tribunal of the Corsair's fraternity murmured at this. Pregged was indeed all he claimed. The judge, one-eyed William, slammed his fist on the table and silence was restored. Shut your mouth, Pregged! <laughs> you didn't pay the fraternity its rightful share, and that means only one thing. You'll hang by the neck from a yard arm, you scurvy cur! Here's the rope twisted by Satan himself! You threaten me, Will? Many a man better than yourself has lived to regret holding a cutlass in my face. You'll be begging for mercy, mark my words. That shook one-eyed William and no mistake. Danny waved his hook in the air and shouted, Prext was always a loudmouth. The law says we hang him. The jurors took up the cry, Hang him! It was Pregg's turn to slam his fist on the table. He threw back his head and roared with laughter. <laughs> you fools! You want to kill what will never die? Try it! Once more, the assembled corsairs murmured. There was unease in the air. They remembered what happened to Chuck. The gizzard slitter, the man who opened his mouth once too often. In 
It was night, and a bitter wind whipped the New England coast. Snug inside the Dead Horse Inn, one of the Astartes men was talking. His name was Chuck, and his subject was Black Magic. He told stories of human sacrifices, voodoo rites, and zombies. He told a tale of a time when their luck was down and they were holed up in a Florida swamp. Priggs went missing. When he returned, he shouted, "'Tis the devil that guides us now, me hearties!" Whether that was true or not, the Astarte began taking loot after juicy loot. The favorite song of the Astarte's men, Crash the Bones, was replaced by a new one. A skull. Go to Port Saber, to starboard. Pass over that will, and with death you'll deal. If you cut a rope, cut the right, I hope. Or then, I don't mind, the death you will find. The next day, as you That's may have song. guessed, Chuck's body was found with a dagger plunged between his shoulder blades. Chuck's face was fixed in a ghastly grin. Molten lead had been poured down his throat. Whatever way things happened next, and I don't have the details, Prext was with us again and we set sail for Florida. We anchored the frigate not far from New Orleans. Taking a few trusted companions with him, Prext set off into the swamp. They carried large wooden chests with them. Two days later, we heard yes. shots being fired and screams. Pregs arrived soon after that and claimed they'd been attacked by alligators. He alone managed to escape with his life. He went on to say that the time had come to share out the spoils of our many loots. I was given command of the Estarte, while Prext handed three chests over to the crew. The chests were full of gold and precious gemstones. The rum flowed that night and the stars shone bright. All at once, I noticed a tall man dressed in black. Pregs introduced him to me. Here is a hearty mate. You can call him Keith. Many a tale he could tell. Pregs laughed loudly and held up a roll of parchment. <laughs> oh, shit, man, and his hide out. None better. <laughs> the parchment fell to the ground, partly unrolling. I noticed what seemed to be a map of underground tunnels, a veritable maze of caverns. Pregst continued, I'm giving up the pirate's life. The Astarte is in your hands now, my lad. She's a fine ship and my reputation goes with her. Should any man call me coward, then break his head for me. I'm leaving you only because I found a treasure more precious than the purest of gold. <laughs> Keith spoke to him then. It is midnight. They are ready and we must go. The stranger turned his cold eyes on me and said in a soft, chilling voice, Sometimes Pregst talks too much. Forget what he just said and maybe you'll live. The fellow's words froze the marrow in my bones, and it was all I could do to mumble, I'll not breathe a word. The canoe slid away into the night. Their torches disappeared in the distance of the swamp. My snoring companions didn't hear the insidious rhythm of far-off drums. I'm not touching those fucking barrels. No, oh, but they it touch me. Nah. Fuck that. No, I don't. So fuck. I've got a key, I need to go find where that opens. What's the point now? It doesn't.
What is it called? That room found all the shit I need. I think it, uh, I need to find where I use this key. Like, what about this? Yeah, my hands are just phasing through it. What else was locked? That's the thing room. Zombie room. Uh, kitchen. That mad orb only appear if you. for the rifle. Uh, does that mean I can... Ah, that's what I was... Uh, that's what I was thinking. And it looks like there's more over there. What the fuck is that? Oh no! Sure, you can't do anything against that, can you? I'm putting that down. I'm putting that, this fucking down. Yeah, but I was trying to walk by it, like... Let's turn on, that won't work. I think you need whatever item helps you do that. The sun. Fucking controls. I need health. That's what I need. That's more bullets. This is what Resident Evil would be like if you could put stuff down. I don't give a shit about that book. It's alright. I don't need books.
must be a heavy object, that's what it is. I can I actually... What's that in front of me? Don't need a matchbox. Poker's good though. Whatever that's for. Alright, did that. Well, you can walk all around the room, you just, like, you just can't walk right up to them. I was trying to, but I think you need to pick it up. I'm putting this, fuck this pot of soup. Fuck off. It doesn't, it's fucking human flesh, I can't eat it. Fuck you. What the size of that fucking thing? Oh my god. You having a fucking laugh? I'm dumping that somewhere. why Resident Evil was made. Oh. They went, oh my god, I wish I didn't have this big pot of soup on me. And you could actually see what the limit was, because there's nothing telling you what's the actual limit. Aye, it's a big pot of soup, I fucking know. Aye, there's no fucking room in hell for you, you cunt. It's going in the library. Ah, you probably could actually. That's probably why there's so many in that room. You can just put that, you can just put that down and we'll just eat it. Finally! Right, so that. Wait, second, I've got to try something. It doesn't work, I don't. How do you, how do you listen to shit on it? Nice. Yeah. Like how it's just playing now. Have I broken this? I don't know, like... Yeah, maybe it has.
Will none of these keys work in the store, really? Surely. I remember there being loads of locked rooms, but I don't remember where they are. in this. Oh, a record. And a book that I can't take. No, the record. What is it? Chopin. Oh great. Oh, uh, the record player. Well, it is. No, you can't turn it off. Oh. There's a mechanism to trigger. Uh, poker? No, 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 not throw, not throw. Drop, hit. Maybe this is the movie game. They kill me. Haunted. Yeah, stretch, stretch and hit me off the ground. That was great. Fuck off. Guess I'll, I'll save and read these books before I do it now. Cool.
but The tale of Captain J.W. Norton of the Army of the Union. 1862. The South was in collapse. Louisiana was open to us. I had each day to requisition victuals for our troops, and was aided in this endeavor by a score of brave men. Rebels were not yet ready to lay down their arms. The region was far from safe. I headed further and further west and questioned many freed slaves. From them, I learned of a plantation on the coast. Its name was Derceto. We received a less than hearty welcome. Only Pickford, the owner, behaved in a friendly manner. While my men counted cattle and grain reserves, I learned what I could from him. Man was most unusual and possessed an extraordinarily cultured mind. At nightfall, I gave orders for the men to bivouac at Derceto. Pickford invited my second in command, Lieutenant Patterson, and myself to dine. Ended, and our host proved a most entertaining conversationalist. While coffee was being served, Patterson went to inspect the men's camp. The cigar Pickford offered me was so acrid that my head began to spin. I remembered campfire tales of fellow officers trapped by devilish Confederate tricks. My mind floated in a foul and dense fog from which emerged the enlarged and deformed face of Pickford. He grinned at me. Patterson's return chased off the nightmare. I heard shouts and firing from outside and found the strength to take out my revolver. I fired three shots. Pickford fell to the floor. Patterson then helped me out of the burning house. The air was filled with smoke. We resembled a company in disorderly retreat. I saw slaves leaping into the flames of that inferno. They were trying to save Pickford's life. Yes, I can probably play that record in the dance hall, the dance of death. Whatever it is. Back off, bro. Oh, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Oh, no. Stop it.
No, no, no. Oh, looks like I'm gonna fall! <gasps> I fucking knew it, you cunt.
Hello? I'm back. to go off soon I think. Finish I'm guessing it's near the end surely. Quite a long game actually. The way you work, I can't see. No, what the fuck? Fuck, fucking cunt game. <laughs> Getting very angry. I can't believe that though. What a dick. Why would it do that to me? Save game. I remember to press fucking enter on space on again. What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh no, get the fuck away from that.
Gigantic snake as well. What are you doing? Oh, you can't. Shoot that hang. Dumb oh, I hate this game sometimes. With the weird auto loading bullshit. Why does it show me a different angle? Oh, I'm not on this. I wasn't on this. Oh, 
Oh my god. Nah, I don't Don't feel safe with Fucking see in. Where's my guy? <coughs> Here, stop changing the fucking camera angle. I can't see in. <coughs> Where's my fucking big gun? Where's the big gun? Can I just jump across that actually? Oh no! That's gonna attack me. Can I see? Can I see in? <coughs> How the fuck are you meant to see it? I can't tell what's what. Run! Run! See it. <laughs> yep, that's what I wanted to do. Is that rock going to crush me?
What? What happened to the music? Am I going nuts? <laughs> what? What's going on? Is there something playing in the background? Johnny. Here, what's going on? Hello? Johnny? Why is there fucking modern music playing? What's going on? I'm genuinely so confused. What's going on? Here, what's going on? Why is this music playing? Where's it coming from? Can you not hear that? Where is that coming from? I'm so confused. What the fuck? I was like, like, why is the game playing modern music? Memoirs music of a Lost the Soul. The mask must fall. You who discover this manuscript, understand this. I am here at your side. I am waiting in the darkness of my crypt. Soon you will belong yeah, this, to me. I can't hear you because of the One music. of my slaves wrote this document. It's, it's I have Saltner lived faded out. for three centuries, and my name is Ezekiel Prakst. Or Wait, this I can hear Russian things playing now. You may oh, choose God. which to call me. I do not hide out of fear. My power it's really hard to is immense. In this dialogue. I have sailed the seven seas. My ship, the Astarte, spread terror through all the continents. Oh, I'm also for headphones. It's judged me ears. like the Welsh judges of 1620. It's, it's hurt my head. They could not destroy me, and neither could the witchcraft, voodoo, and the Cthulhu cult. I know them all. I have, to I have turn reigned off the game. and implored the stones. Only the Catonian haunts the cavern and resists me, but he dare not attack. I have need of a living body to regenerate myself. The Heartwoods managed to escape from me, but you who are reading these words, you will yield to my embrace. I hear your ragged breath. <laughs> and smell the stench of your fear. I have vanquished death. I built Deceto. I know what it is to wait. Cthulhu helps me. My servants will lay you upon the sacrificial stone. My roar will God. rend the night. Oh, yeah. You will be mine, and I shall reign once more. <laughs> oh. Come to me. <laughs> oh man, I love this. I hope the second and third have all this. Right. Sorry, I need to deal with this bullshit.
What? It's not coming from... What? Here, that's coming from nowhere? Yes. Oh, it's one of these fucking... Oh, it's that fucking... Is this? I have no clue. Fucking hell, by the way. Completely ruined my game. Immersed in shit. Only God knows. Right, so I think I'm at like, the end of the game or something. Like, there's nowhere else to go in this mad bit. Now. Fucking genius. Oh. Same. Oh, what the fuck? Mechanism to trigger the gem. Oh no. Uh, mechanism. The statue. There's no room. Hmm. Oh, what the fuck? Can he see... Can he see a fucking thing? Wait, what? I, I'm just, I've broken everything. I guess broke. It's completely broken, yeah. I don't have
Pixel's Labyrinth. Okay, I'm scared to go into these wee bits. Run! One, two, one, two. Right, one, two. Do them. That's how you do it. Do them. Aye. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Oh shit. I'm so lost. Maybe I'm just searching for a way out now. That looks pretty good, whatever that is. But I don't know. Yeah, I need to like smash that gem up. I need to smash that gem up. Will I ever find a way out of this treacherous maze? Yes, but I don't know what this is trying to tell me. I feel like now nah, there's loads of shit like that, and I don't really know. Wait, what? There's another hole back there that looked good as well. There's a mechanism to trigger. What are all these mechanisms? Oh! There we go. I found the way out. Oh, what's this? The tree of life. Looks like it. <gasps> oh, again, yeah, fucking numpty. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! in there, a book. Talisman. But there's a beast in there. Nice. What is the book attached to?
I'm gonna try to go back around the tree. Oh no! I didn't see that. I can't see! Run, 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 run! Loads of shit. How would you do that though? Like, how would you do that? But you can't combine shit. I can't hear right now because it doesn't. What about the talisman? Like, not on this door, but... Yeah, aye. No, but that won't work on the... That'll work on the altar, surely. What? Oh my god! I can't see, I can't see! See again. Here we go. What'd I do? Burn it. That's the same mad. Orbs, I bet. It's a tree. The mask must fall. You who discover this manuscript understand. Th I do not hide out of fear. My power is in witchcraft. So that's Voodoo and the this. Cthulhu cult. I know them all. I have reigned wait. and implored. I hear your I, ragged wait. breath. <laughs> they burnt down the and the original mansion. Oh, fuck it. Oh fuck. Oh! What's going on? Oh shit! How did I get through that door? Aye, they threw themselves into the fire. Uh, to, to get him back. All the sla- all his- uh, all the slaves. Here, why won't you run? Just walking really slowly. Hit. Run, run, hello, run, run, Tony, run, Tony, run. Can I push this? Fuck. 
Oh, that's hard. Did I save there? I don't remember. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, maybe I'll go down the way. Can I even get back up? Fucking jump. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Aye. I don't think that would actually kill me. Try to find this door. Can I find it? Ah, there we go. Oh, you idiot! The perspective's lying to me. Oh, you die from that height as well, for fuck's sake. It's not. I was walking around in it, anyway. He's just being a dickhead. See Escher fucking pig. I need to escape the mansion before it burns down. Balls to bits. Look at that, that looks friendly. Like a friendly car. Haha, oh. <laughs> yes, I love it. Oh! See? Wonder if I could put. I could probably do that. Actually, put reverb on my voice on. That'd be great. Enjoy that. I didn't have to jump across all this shit again. Maybe I came the wrong way. Maybe there was like a mad escape bit and then I just like dingied it. Whoops. 
goes through there. Oh! Oh, nice. Can I even get up this bit? Wait, how do I get back? There's a big, huge hole. Oh, wait. Oh! There, did you see that? <laughs> what's he doing? Here, what's going on? The game's completely broken. I'm, I'm tiny. Here, I've, this is actually broken. No, this is actually fucked. Here. Oh no. Here, what, oh my god, what's going on? Here, I don't know what to do. Oh fuck, stop. Oh, brilliant. This game is fucking... These are old games, man. Read in through the fucking MS-DOS. hell that when that happened, when I became fucking miniature man. I need to fight demons. I hope you still have like... I was gonna say, I hope you have the Kung Fu moves in other games. I like how you can actually fucking boot monsters in the face, that's great. Yeah, I wonder as well actually. I think you do. Yeah. I wonder how, if the story's different. Yeah. I'll get it, like, I'm sure it's a different story for why they're there, but I'm not sure if it, it will probably just turn out the same. Oh, he's actually crawling this time, rather than me jumping. Maybe I shouldn't run up the stairs. front doors. Yeah. That's a good question. I think. Was it? Was the 
see where that big thing ate me? See where that big thing ate me before? Remember? When I die? Is that the front door? I don't remember what? This? Right here? Aye. Right. No, you definitely 100% saw it. Because you went, oh, what the fuck is that? I don't like that. Oh, yes. He's happy. We made it. Alright. Take your time, mate. Take your fucking time. Do what you want. Oof, who's that? I don't trust this guy, does it? Oh, yes. Oh, no. Can you believe it? The old, the, 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 the old skeleton chauffeur kit. I know, fucking foiled. That's the actual end. Wait, is that a bad ending or something? I don't know. Like, I can't press it. What? I'm gonna play all of them. I play. I'll play it anyway. See what it's like. Right, I'm gonna end this, and I'm gonna go to jujitsu. So I'll at least try to with my stomach. Yeah, what's up? I'm gonna take it easy anyway. Oh. Cool. I shall speak to you later. I might be on this later and I might stream the second one. Cheers. See you later.